Courtney here, your Esborn Books and More Consultant. Now, what makes these books books that kids love to read? Definitely, you're probably thinking it's the pictures and the flaps. Well, what is it about pictures and flaps? Well, we all learn three ways, by looking, by listening, and by doing. Most books, of course, you're looking at. If it's being read to you, you're listening. Um, but we read by, we learn by doing. And the more ways that we, um, the more ways that we learn, the better we retain the information. So let me give you an example with this baby book. That's not my series. This is a best-selling series. It's awesome. So first we have the visual aspect. Of course, there's colors, bright colors. It's very easy to look at. Um, kids love, babies love to look at this. Now, audio, auditory. If you're reading to them, they're going to catch on to the rhythm of the book. That's not my panda. Its paws are too rough. That's not my panda. Its back is too fuzzy. You know, all 33 books are going to read like this, and they're going to anticipate that. They're also going to learn describing words. Fuzzy. Rough. Okay? And also, of course, there's the touchy-feely. Every single page on this book is touchy-feely. Oh, such soft ears. Oh, they're fluffy ears. Okay? Rough paws. A lot of fun, a lot of fun ways to learn. Um, so your child is going to retain more information and learn more when they learn using all three ways of learning. Here is Peek Inside Nighttime. So this is one that my four-year-old loves. There are about five books in the series. Um, there's Farm and Zoo and a couple other ones. I like nighttime. I like reading about nighttime because taking the, the guesswork out of what's out there at night uh, it makes it makes it more interesting and less scary for kids. So he loves this book. He likes this part right here where so there's holes in the page right here, and then when you flip the page, it becomes the owl's eyes. Um, this is a great one to have with preschoolers around. Highly recommend it. One of my favorite series of books are the illustrated books. I'm going to show you a couple of these. I keep this one close for bedtime um, for my son, my four-year-old son's special story time. Um, so 365 illustrated stories and rhymes. Um, nursery rhymes and poems are important for language development for and imagination for our kids. It's important to have those in, to keep nursery rhymes in front of our kids and reading to them in their early years. So this has nursery rhymes and poems and stories, short stories. So if I'm in a hurry, I'll read one story. If I have more time, I'll read more and he'll think, oh yay, mommy's reading lots of stories to me and they're they're pretty short. Um, now if you picture, there's also another book, it's called 100 Illustrated Stories. These books have at least there's like 400 to 500 pages each. So they're thick, they're big, they're nice, they're durable, they're going to last. Um, picture going to the Goodwill and buying 100 children's books, or 100 stories. You're going to spend a lot of money at 79 cents a story. Um, now these books right here are only $22 each. Fabulous value, you're going to get a lot out of them. Another in our illustrated stories, this one is a $20 book, Shakespeare, abridged and retold. Um, my daughter, this is her favorite book, and um, they've also read Dickens, Arabian Nights, Norse myths, Greek myths, um, there's so many of these, and their literature foundation is so much more than I, have, I even have right now. Um, they read well, great illustrations, a lot of fun. And your kids are going to be reading classic literature and loving it. Here's a series, Submarines. This is, a, I think it's called Discovery Series. It's usually it's geared towards boys, but girls can like it too because there's something like Deadly Animals. It's a new title. Um, so my son keeps the book Warships in the van, and so he tells me all these cool things about warships, so that's what I get to learn about when I'm driving. Boys love them. There's also survival and BMX or sports, different things. Art. Now, it's proven that when kids can do art, they learn better um, if they're listening and doing art at the same time. As Born does great with art. There's activity books. All these books, they have thick enough pages where if your kids use felt tip markers, they don't bleed through. This one is also great for adults. Um, right here, but take a look at all the art art items and activity books that Esborn has to offer. Fabulous job right here. I sell a lot of this one. One more. I think this is one that if you have young kids, you need to have this in your home. Um, and 
This covers topics from geography and science and technology and history and all kinds of things. Uh, notice that has QR links, so okay. So um, every two-page spread has a QR link, so if with your smartphone or tablet, you can pull up an activity, a video, a game, or something for your child to do right away within moments. There's also quick links of internet links where you can go online and you can have further learning of activities online engaging um, them with their listening and they're doing if they're using their fingers it's tactile and on the computer um, different ways to learn look at these illustrations and colors highly engaging for homeschool what we do is we pick a two-page spread and we read about whatever's on the two-page spread you see that and then we can follow the internet links and go do activities. There's anywhere from two to eight activities on that quick link um, right there. Fabulous, great resource. If your child comes home and says, I have a report due tomorrow, you can say, never fear, I know what to do. And you pull out your internet linked book from Usborne and you get her done. So I hope I've been inspirational and enjoy shopping.